Alright, so today is all about simplification using the distributive law. Alright, so remember the distributive law is what we use to remove brackets in math. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take what's on the outside and we're going to multiply by each element on the inside and then we're going to apply the regular rules of simplification, grouping like terms together and then operating them. So, for the first ones, let's start off simple. We have 4 outside, x plus 6 in the bracket. So I'm going to multiply the 4 by the x and the 4 by the 6. So this one should be very straightforward. 4 times x, 4x, and 4 times 6 gives me 24. I have no like terms together, so that's my solution. Here, in this one here, we have multiplied. What we're doing, you're multiplying a binomial by a binomial. A binomial just to say that we have an expression with two terms. Remember, we said an expression is a combination of algebraic terms with operating signs between them. All right, so don't get scared. How do I multiply a binomial by a binomial or multiply in two brackets? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply the first element. This means multiply. Multiply the first element in the first bracket by everything in the second. So here we go. So I have x times 2x gives me 2x squared. Remember the law of the indices. This is x to the 1 power times x to the 1 power. When we're multiplying in the base of the same, we keep the base and add the powers. We have x times minus 10 gives me minus 10x. Then we're going to multiply the second term by everything in the second bracket. So follow me. So now I have 6, positive 6 times 2 gives me positive 12x. And positive 6 times negative 10 gives me negative 60. Why negative 60? Remember the law of the signs. A positive and a negative gives me a negative. When the signs are the same, when I'm multiplying, my answer comes up positive. The only time I get a negative is when the signs are not the same. All right. So we're looking for like terms together. These two are the same. So we're going to operate this. So my answer is going to be 2x squared. The signs are not the same. When we add them, they're not subtracting. The signs are not the same. We're going to subtract. So I'm going to say 10 from 12 is 2x. And we're going to keep the sign of the greater number. The greater number is positive, so that is positive 2x. And minus 60 cents by itself. And that's my solution right there. We have another one here. We have 4x plus 2 times 3x minus 3. So we're going to multiply the first by everything on the inside. So this becomes 12x squared. 4x times 3 gives me minus 12x. Then on the inside, positive 2 times 3 gives me 6x. And 2 times minus 3 gives me minus 6. These two, like terms, are already grouped together. So here we go. So we have 12x squared minus 6 and minus 12 and 6. The signs are not the same. We're adding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract. So I say 6 from 12, 6. And because the 12 is the biggest, I take the sign of the biggest. So I take the sign of the 12. So that will be minus 6 and minus 6. So my answer for this is 12x squared minus 6x minus 6. All right, so the last one. Yes, yes, this, this should look familiar to you. So we have a plus b times a minus b. When we multiply, let's see what we get. So we're going to have a times a. We have a squared. a times b gives me minus ab. b times a gives me ab or ba, same order. And b times minus b gives me minus b squared. So, when I work out this, 1ab plus uh, 1ab minus ab gives me duck egg. So, I have a squared minus b squared. Remember, if there's anything that you don't understand, just leave me a little comment and I will sure to address it.